Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through derivation, guys. So basically, in our last lecture, we discussed about a context-free grammar, right? I hope everyone remembers that. Okay. So in this lecture, let us learn about a derivation. So basically, derivation is nothing but using this grammar, you will be producing a particular string, guys. Okay. So basically, you will be using the grammar and you will be getting finally this string. So that is nothing but derivation guys. So derivation is a sequence of production rules. It is used to get the input string produced by the parser. Okay. Yes. So here we will be using two different methods guys. That is nothing but leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation. So these are the two popular ways which you can say which are popular. Okay. To be specific you can say those are popular. Okay. So the leftmost derivation. So leftmost derivation. So from the name you will be getting some kind of a hint, right? So you will be expanding in the left direction. Okay. So that, that is the hint that is being given, right? So leftmost derivation. Okay. Okay. So just give me a second guys. Okay. I took a piece of paper. Okay. So first let us go through the definition. Then we'll be taking an example. So at each step in the derivation is applied to the leftmost value. So that is the reason why it is called as leftmost derivation. It is indicated with the implies LM or implies LM star. Okay. Okay. So observe the grammar guys. So these are the production rules and this is the input. Okay. So you need to get A minus B plus A, right? Okay. So you observe the string. Okay. So let us start. Okay. So initially you will be starting with E implies. So as we need E sorry a minus b plus a so let us take this first part first implies e plus e so as i told you always expand the left hand side guys so here we need a minus b right yes so let us divide this into a minus b format so this is in a minus b format guys this whole subject is just on your observation guys so the thing is that you should understand how we are solving it that's the only thing that is required okay so now somehow we got the appearance of this right okay so now let us move from e to a directly okay so the rest of things will be the same okay again this a matched and this negative matched and now e e to b okay so now this match this match this match this match and e you place a now we reached so the thing that I did here is from the left hand side, always I was checking. So whether there is a chance for expansion, chance for expansion, chance for expansion. That is why it is called as a leftmost derivation guys. Okay. So here in the book, I have written clearly this E became E minus B. This E became A. This E became B. This E became A. If you observe here from left side, we are doing. Okay. And here you, we, I wrote, I clearly wrote the productions also. Okay. And on arrow clip LM. Okay. Okay. Similarly, rightmost derivation. So, rightmost from the name you can now you will be saying, okay, from the right side, which we will be doing. Yes, that's correct. At each step in the derivation is applied to the rightmost variable or a rightmost non terminal implies rm or implies rm star. So, I took the same production, I took the same input. So, now if you observe, e tends to, I took here e minus e because it will be easy for me. So, e tends to e minus e. I expanded this e to e plus e. Okay, and now I will be moving from right, right? So this E will become A, then this E will become B, then this E will become A. At the end, we reach the string. So this is a rightmost derivation, guys. Okay, so now we are done with the leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation. Okay, so I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be, sorry, we'll be discussing about parse tree. So basically how you can construct a parse tree for the exact grammar with a particular input. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about the past tree. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.